Okay, so 60 miles per hour is equal to how many inches per second? And this is a very typical type of problem that you're going to see in middle school, high school level mathematics, but also in science classes as well. When you're taking a science class like physics, chemistry, biology, physical science, it doesn't make a difference. You're um, dealing with a lot of units of measure, and you're going to have to convert from one unit of measure to another unit of measure. And that's kind of the uh, general idea here. We're going to be doing a lot of conversion. So if you don't remember the conversion factors, I'll show you them here in a second. But if you think you can uh, do this problem, that's excellent. Feel free to use a calculator and put your answer into the comment section. I'm not going to give you too many hints right now because I want you uh, to have an opportunity, again, to figure this thing out. But of course, I'm going to walk through exactly what we need to do to figure out how many um, inches per second is equal to 60 miles per hour. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, all students can be successful in mathematics. And I said that correctly, all students. So if you think you're bad at math or you're just you know, naturally you know, terrible at math, no, you can do much, much better. But what you need is great math instruction that's clear understandable and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Now, if you happen to be uh, preparing for some sort of test with a math section, a lot of you out there are gonna be taking a test like this. I'm talking about entrance exams, placement exams, certification exams, things like the SAT, ACT. Alex, AccuPlacer, ASVAB, Teacher Certification Exam, they all have math on it. But anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. Won a lot of awards this year uh, with that particular program. Very happy about that. If you need a pair of great math notes, hopefully you're taking your own, but you need something to study from. So I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that de uh, will definitely help me out. Okay, so let's talk about how we convert 60 miles per hour to inches per second. But uh, before I even talk about that, I'm going to give you the answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. There you go. 60, mile, uh, 60 miles per hour is equivalent to uh, 1,056 inches per second. So this is the correct answer. And if you got this right, well, let me go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can have an extra special day. Uh, that's excellent. Okay, it shows me that you know how to uh, work with converting units of measure, which is essential not only in mathematics but in science as well. But uh, let's just kind of think of um, or kind of model this situation out. So let's uh, think of a car that's going 60 miles per hour. Let me kind of draw a little vehicle here. So what does that mean? Well, it's going um, in one hour, all right? So 60 miles per hour, saying in one hour's time, this vehicle is going 60 miles. That's what 60 miles per hour means, okay? It's actually... This right here is what we call a rate in mathematics. It's miles per hour or miles per hour. We can write it this way. Okay, so it's a fraction. It's a rate. But effectively, this car in one hour's time is going 60 miles. Uh, now, what we want to do is say, okay, well, that's the, the deal. How uh, in, Instead of one hour's time, we just want to, like, look at one second right here. Okay, in one second, how many inches did it travel? Okay, so that is the uh, basic uh, kind of visual scenario of what's going on here. We're trying to figure out how many inches in one second this car that's going 60 uh, miles per hour is covering. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. And of course, uh, what we need to understand is uh, what I kind of basically described, that 60 miles per hour is a measurement of speed or velocity. Okay, it's what we call a rate in mathematics, which is effectively a fraction that involves two different units of measure. Okay, now here our speed, 60 miles per hour, is a measurement, or this miles per hour is a measurement of what? Well, it's uh, measuring miles, okay, which is a unit of distance, and we're dividing it by hours, which, which is a unit of time. Okay, that's a rate. It's a fraction. My, um, in this case, it's distance 
per unit time. All right, so miles per hour, miles per hour, but we can express that um, as a fraction this way, miles per one hour, okay? So again, this is a uh, measurement of rate. And now what we wanna do in this problem is uh, have our distance not be in miles, but we wanna convert miles to inches, okay? So our distance will be expressed in inches, and then our time, instead of hours, we need to, uh, need to convert um, hours to seconds, all right? So our unit of measure of time will be in seconds. So we're gonna have to know how many inches are in one mile, okay? And how many seconds is in one hour. So we're gonna need what we call conversion factors. So if you forgot uh, these conversion factors, let's kind of review them now. Probably the one that most people would not remember, maybe a lot of you did, is that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Okay, so we're gonna need this one. This is probably the most common uh, conversion factor with miles and feet. You're not gonna find miles to inches as a kind of common conversion factor, but this is one that I would um, commit to your long-term memory if you can kind of remember that. So if you're saying, oh, how many feet is in one statute mile, not nautical mile, there's a difference there. Nautical mile is kind of like uh, a mile on the ocean. So like a ship going from here to here would be like a nautical mile, I believe. That's 6,000 feet. Uh, I'd have to double check that. But what we're talking about here is a statue of mile. So that's 5,280 feet. And that is a mile like on earth, on ground, actually not on earth, but like on land. Okay. All right. So that is, again, probably the one conversion factor that people uh, would probably f have forgotten. But let's take a look one at the other ones that we're going to need uh, to do this problem that are common. Okay. One hour has how many minutes? Well, that's 60 minutes. One minute has how many seconds? 60 seconds. And one foot, okay, we have 5,280 feet, all right? So uh, this is the plural of one foot. So one foot has how many inches? Has 12 inches. So these are the conversion factors that we need to know. And we need to be able to remember that we can express these conversion factors in different ways. So let's take a look at this one right here, okay? One mile to 5,280 feet. So we could write this as a fraction this way, one mile, okay, two is uh, two, one, or per 5, and, uh, 5,280 feet, okay? So notice I corrected myself here. I was using the word two, that's a ratio. We wanted to use the word per, that's a rate. So one mile per 5,280 feet. So I could write this conversion factor this way, or I could write it this way, 5,280 feet, okay, uh, per one mile. These are equivalent. So this, this, and this are all ways that we can basically express the same conversion factor. And this is important whether I choose to um, write my conversion factor with the mile in the numerator or the denominator. We're going to see uh, that part um, here in a second. But just so you understand, we need to know these conversion factors and we need to understand that we can write these conversion factors in uh, as a fraction where um, we can have the units of measure that we want in the uh, numerator or denominator as long as we have it set up like this. So let's go ahead and put this all together and see what's going on. Okay, so here's the deal. I kind of already did the work uh, in advance so I can talk about it. But here we have 60 miles per hour, per one hour. So again, I'm gonna have to convert miles to inches, okay? So here, my miles, that's my distance, I'm gonna have to go and measure that distance in inches, and then this hour, uh, my goal is to measure it in seconds. So we're gonna have to convert miles to inches and hours to seconds. So how do we do that? Well, this is what I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just focus right here. Remember the end goal, is to have an answer, okay? Have our number be some sort of fraction where we're gonna end up with not miles uh, per hour, we're gonna end up with uh, uh, inches per second, okay? So the way you're gonna keep this all straight in this math is to kind of look at the final answer, the, final, uh, the unit of measure of the final answer. It's gonna be inches in the numerator and seconds in the denominator, okay? This would be equal to inches per second. That is what the question is asking. How fast 
is, let's say, this car going 60 miles per hour, traveling inches per second. So again, it's really, really important to know that the goal here is to end up with inches in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. So how can we make that happen? Well, we're just going to start multiplying by these conversion factors. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Now, this is not uh, done in any particular um, order, but uh, uh, if you just stick with me and focus, hopefully this will, uh, this will make sense. So we're going to take our 60 miles per hour and we're going to go, we're going to convert from miles to feet. So how do we go from miles to feet? Well, we know that 5,280 feet is uh, equivalent to one mile. So I'm going to write that conversion factor I just talked about here a minute uh, ago. I'm going to multiply our 60 miles per hour by that conversion factor. So I'm doing it with the miles in the denominator because look here, the miles will cross cancel. This is a name of the game to cross cancel units of measure. So you can see a miles will cross cancel with this miles here. Just remember if we're multiplying fractions and let's say I have 60 miles uh, right there and I had one mile down here, those units of measure can cross cancel. Okay, so this is really important. And actually this particular problem, it might be a little bit um, uh, more involved than a basic conversion problem. Okay, so we're going miles all the way down to inches hours all the way down to seconds. So if you're kind of confused on uh, converting units of measure, um, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel on this, and you might want to check out one of my courses like my pre-algebra course. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue this um, on. So now, um, just remember the name of the game, I'm looking for inches per second. So I'm going to say, all right, um, I can multiply this. And by the way, how I multiply these conversion factors, what order does it make a difference? So now I'm looking at this hour right here. I'm like, okay, I got an hour. I know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes or one hour per 60 minutes. So this is good here. I can cross cancel this hour with this hour. So don't, you know, you're like, well, I got feet or minutes. Well, we're just going to continue to play this game here. So now I'm down to feet and minutes. So I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to have to use 12 inches per one foot. Now, why would I put the foot in the denominator, not one foot per, uh, per 12 inches? Why do I have 12 inches per one foot? Because look here, I have a foot up in the numerator, so I'm going to put that foot down here in the denominator. So they cross cancel. I don't want uh, my answer to be in foot, uh, feet. I want it to be in inches. Okay, so we're doing pretty good here. And now I have 60 minutes. I don't want minutes. I want seconds. So uh, one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds or one minute per 60 seconds and i wrote the minute uh, the minutes down here in the denominator so i'm going to write my conversion factor as one minute i'm going to put that minute up in the numerator one minute per 60 seconds so these minutes cross cancel now let's take a look at what's left let me use a different color here red doesn't show up so great let me try something let me see orange yeah this works okay all right so let's take a look very carefully what's left in terms of our units of measure. I didn't cross cancel inches, so that's good. And I have seconds remaining, okay? Everything else has been converted, all right? So miles, miles, hours, hours, feet, feet, minutes, and minutes have all been converted, uh, cross cancel in terms of units of measure. So now I'm left with in, uh, inches in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. And as I stated in the beginning of this, that's the name of the game. Okay, so we just take these uh, conversion uh, factors, all right, and we write them the way that we need to write them, okay, really thinking carefully about the end uh, state of our units of measure. And then we're just going to now multiply this fraction all together, right? So we'll do this right now. Okay, so here is that work being done. You can see I just cross canceled everything. So you're going to end up with 60 times 5,280. Here's a 1, and here's a 12, here's a 1. So it's going to be 60. Let's just focus on the numerator times 5,280 times this 12. Of course, that will be multiplied by 1, so we don't need to write that. And down here in the denominator, we have 60 times 60. So we'll write that like so. All right, so let's go ahead and do this number crunching here. So the numerator is going to be 60 times 5,280 times 12. We get 3,801,600 inches, okay? So remember, that's our inches in our um, numerator. And then 60 times 60 is 3,600 seconds. All right, so this is a pretty good answer. But remember, we want inches per second. 
per one second, so we need to fix this up a bit. So how can I get down to one second? Well, if I have 300, 600 seconds, if I divide that number by 3,600, I'll get down to one second, right? 3,600 divided by 3,600 is, of course, one. But if I, multi if I divide the denominator by 3,600, I need to divide the numerator, this 3,801,600 by 3,600, and I get um, 1,056 inches per second. Or you could just simply have just seen, oh, I could take this number and divide it by this number, and you get what we call the unit rate. Okay, so I, I want to kind of like spell it out this way, but all you had to do was take that numerator, divide it by the denominator, and you get the final answer. But I want to, you know, be very clear uh, that we want to focus on the units of measure here. So we're going to have 1,056 inches per one second, and that is the answer. So 60 miles per hour is equal to 1,056 uh, inches per second. And if we want to kind of visualize this, we can convert those inches right here into feet, all right? So how can I convert uh, 1,056 inches into feet? Well, I could just take that and divide that by 12, right? So there's 12 inches in one foot. So visually speaking, a car that's going 60 miles per hour is covering about 88 uh, feet per one second, okay? And that, you know, might give you more of a, you know, uh, the ability to kind of visualize, oh, wow, okay, when you see a car traveling down the highway, the freeway, the turnpike, whatever the case is, it's going about 88 feet per second at 60 miles per hour. Matter of fact, it's going precisely 88 feet per second. Okay, so here's the deal, right? Um, converting units of measure is critical, right? This is uh, something that a lot of you might be confused about. And if you're just starting out uh, on converting units of measure, uh, this problem may, may or may not have been a little bit too much to do in, in one setting, all right? Just learn how to uh, convert basic units of measure. Um, but I kind of went over a lot of these concepts here, all right? But this is definitely a skill that all of you um, studying mathematics and science is going, or you're definitely going to need to master this. So um, uh, I would just say, make sure you understand rates, ratios, proportions, fractions, all that kind of good stuff. Any of those topics that I mentioned, you can find uh, in all of my, well, most of my um, pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one courses, etc. Whatever the case is at, when you go to my courses, you can see what I teach in those courses, which are extremely comprehensive. But uh, anyways, if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.